Before food can move into your cells, it has to be broken down into small pieces. Food is made of polymers, but these polymers are too large to fit through the cell membrane. The process of digestion breaks the polymers into monomers that are small enough to move into your cells. The majority of digestion occurs in the small intestine. The small intestine is full of enzymes, which are special proteins that help break molecules apart or put molecules together. Polymers from food enter your body through your mouth. They then pass through your esophagus and into your stomach. From the stomach, the polymers move into the small intestine. The inner wall of your small intestine is filled with cells called villi. These villi cells are responsible for absorbing nutrients and passing them into the bloodstream. In the small intestine, polymers are broken down by enzymes into monomers. The monomers are small enough to be absorbed through the villi and passed into the bloodstream. Once in the bloodstream, the monomers can move around the body and into the cells where they are needed. Once inside a body cell, the monomers can be used to build new cell components. If your cell needs to grow, it will need to make more cell membrane, more ribosomes, etc. These cell components are made out of large biomolecules called polymers. The cool thing about biosynthesis is not only can monomers, such as amino acids, be put together to make polymers, such as proteins, but the atoms from one type of monomer can be arranged into another type of monomer to make even more different polymers. So, in review, digestion breaks polymers into monomers and biosynthesis builds polymers from monomers. These processes are opposites. Now let's dive a little deeper. Zooming in on the process of digestion. Another name for digestion is hydrolysis. The word hydrolysis means to split using water. During digestion, polymers are combined with water to make monomers. Notice how the polymer splits and an oxygen atom is exposed. A water molecule also splits and one hydrogen from the water bonds to the exposed oxygen. This monomer is now complete. The remaining OH from the water binds to the remaining monomer where its oxygen was removed. In the end, both monomers have an atom of oxygen and an atom of hydrogen attached to where they used to be bonded together. Zooming in on the process of biosynthesis. Another name for biosynthesis is dehydration synthesis. Dehydration refers to the fact that water is removed. Notice that biosynthesis is just the opposite of digestion. Instead of adding the atoms from a water molecule, during biosynthesis, a water molecule is removed. One monomer loses a hydrogen and the other monomer loses a hydrogen and an oxygen. These atoms bond together to make a water molecule. This allows the new bond to form between the two monomers. As a result, an oxygen is shared between the monomers. This binds together the monomers into a polymer. Digestion breaks down large molecules so they can move into the cell. Biosynthesis builds large molecules so the cell can grow.